three candidates for Stockton mayor sitting down with KCRA 3, all three with different backgrounds. Jessica Velez runs the homeless nonprofit Red Rabbit Advocacy. To date, we have been able to get 45 different households either housed or with a voucher in hand. Jesus Andrade is a Stockton native and former city council member. Uh, I had the good fortune of representing my childhood uh, district on the council and so uh, it was four fantastic years. Dan Wright currently serves on the council and spent decades in school administration. But it's one of the highest appointed positions in the city, being superintendent of Stockton Unified. A lot of demands for time. All three candidates also have different agendas. There are a lot of issues facing uh, voters this election. What's your top priority and why? The top priority is going to be the streets. And that is all encompassing of, you know, homelessness, crime, the drug epidemic. It's got to be that issue of uh, corruption and incompetence. I can promise you when I when I take over in City Hall, it'll be the most transparent City Hall we've had in a long, long time. It's economic development. We have to walk and chew gum at the same time. We have to be able to bring in um, new businesses. We have to increase our revenue. We've been stagnant as far as our budget. All candidates know homelessness is a major concern. Data shows nearly 900 people are living on the streets in Stockton. What would you do to address the yeah. issue in a, in a different way? We use most of our HAP funding now for Project Home Key projects, but I wouldn't be opposed to the idea of, of uh, making some of that an emergency housing trust fund. Safe campsites, tiny homes. We have to look at other, again, like I said earlier, temporary shelter um, programs that they can move to. But uh, it's it's time that, you know, we have to enforce the law. We have to get our city back. I've been a big um, advocate for a transitional village um, that's kind of the same as a safe camping. Uh, that would be the first thing that I would want to start with. Just getting, providing the basic stability so that then we can redirect people. Voters also say public safety is a top issue. Stockton police facing an officer shortage amid concerns over crime with only 344 sworn officers on the force. All candidates say the city needs to get that number up. What's your plan to, to do that? I know that's an issue that the police yeah. department is facing. You know, there is uh there's incentives, right? There's pay, there's salary, there's there's benefits that we have to look at seriously um, to attract officers here. Lower mortgage rates for officers that purchase in the com in the neighborhoods that they're serving, as long as they stay there for a certain number of years, will prevent the you know come and get trained and leave. We have to make sure that that we're attractive both financially and culturally, that that officers feel supported here but they also feel like they can make a living to support their families. For these three candidates, it's a fresh face versus political experience, but each of them says they're the best choice for Stockton's mayor. I really think that having a different breath of life into this city is really going to bring about needed change. Stockton needs consistent leadership. That's the main reason I ran. I, I've got the most experience on the city council. I have unfinished business. I have a plan um, and I have great support on the city council. I have great support from the community. Reporting in Stockton, Orco Mana, KCRA 3 News. And Orca will sit down with the other three candidates for Stockton Mayor tomorrow. The race could be decided with the March 5th primary if one candidate gets more than 50% of the vote. If not, the top two candidates will face off during the November election.